Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we're playing as the Kingdom of Greece. But unfortunately for the Kingdom, they're not going to last that long, and we're going to take off historical AI focuses because... Well, where we're going, I want to see what happens to the world. Regardless, no nation's going to get buffed, AI behavior is going to be completely default, so we don't know what's going to happen. But let us begin as the Kingdom of Greece at the time of this recording. I do not have any mods installed because I don't know if there are any available, like I said, at the time of this recording. But regardless, it is January 1st, 1936. And basically, as you might be able to tell from the title, maybe the, from the thumbnail as well, we want to go with bringing home the XL Republicans. To do this, the elections cannot be active and we have to have the king placed under house arrest because I want to go communist. Who... How many people actually play as Communist Greece with their new DLC? I have no idea, but I am. In which we're going to get a socialist economy, we'll dispose of reactionaries, and I'm not sure whether we prepare for the great anti-fascist war, or we will do toe the uh, Joey line. Cool. But regardless, we still have other focuses to, to do, and because I want to go Communist, I want to spend more time getting through our industrial tree as fast as possible. So we're going to devalue the Drachma. Our financial woes seem to have no end. Our defaults and debts have led us with an, left us with an economic situation that is absolutely untenable. We must intentionally engage in currency devaluation as a requirement for stimulating foreign capital inflow, even though it may hurt some of our debts. In the long run, we get some political power, unlock some managing debt to the IFC, or the International Financial Committee, I believe, and these decisions will allow us to downgrade and eventually get rid of the debt to the group National Spirit. Awesome! Now what do we start with? We start with a couple divisions. Cool. We have three research slots, which is... I thought we might have two, but I'll take... I'll gladly take three. We're also going to grab con some construction. All the normal stuff that we always begin with, just because it's tried and true. Let's see. What do we even have? I, I barely even tried Greece off in my own time. We got some factories. We got one, two, three, four, five home slots. One island over here. We got some islands over here. Of course, that's Crete. And that's it. This is not going to be easy. And that's all we can build is two. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Guns, artillery. That's nice. We definitely need more. We'll need some support equipment. I do want to try, though, getting some... Ooh, destroyer's not bad. Anti-air. I want to try to use anti-air in this campaign. I don't need that. Early cruiser hulls. Mm. Mm. How are these subs looking? They're looking okay. What do we actually have right now? In terms of a fleet, it's not actually that bad. We have a heavy cruiser. Okay, this is not great. It's not great. But, oh, it's really not great. But how about subs? Level one. Oh, God. What's Greece? What do you expect? So I'm going to pull you guys off, actually, because you should have your own fleet. Screening efficiency. Number of ships in the first contact. Caustic. Oh, God. This officer is a bit more salty than most people. Oh, good lord. Why? Can't even get a new guy. So be it. we'll put you Mr. Caustic. Over here, Alexandros Saclario. But you never know who we might get. If that's the case, we're not going to have the manpower. We're not going to have the industry to make a massive fleet. So we're going to get with subs. Because even if we make them now, they can be refitted later to have even better attributes. Go ahead and train for these guys, as you, well as you guys. Go ahead and train, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Is there anything else that we have to do? To begin? Ah, Air Force. Before we let time even begin going on, raise up the speed. We got some tactical bombers and some fighters. Now, I really want to use CAS just because CAS is just effective for more ground support stuff. And bombers are a little slow in my opinion, but whatever. Let's see, we got a couple divisions. Pull out the horses because they're going to be our mobile division. Oh my goodness. Sharalambos Katsimetros. More defense, I like that. Staunch Monarchist, well, we're probably not going to end up using him just because... We're not going to go down a monarchist path. Someday I will do the Byzantium tree. But today is not going to be that day. And that's okay. So you should be led by the monarchist, dude. Which is fine. Because both of you are going to be led by Alexandros Papagos. He's an old guard, inflexible strategist, career officer, a war hero, a staunch monarchist, and a mountaineer. Which is good. And we got to use those mountains to our advantage. Oof. Ooh, unyielding defender. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Get 0.53 a day. Oh, my goodness. We're going to place a king under house arrest because we have to. Uh, yes, very good. The first election since George II was returned to the throne are due to take place before the end of the month. George II is determined 
not to be forced from his throne again and is said to be preparing to go any lengths when necessary to keep his rule secure. However, elements of our army still hold hidden allegiances to the popular exile Eleftherios Venizelos, and they might be able to secure a free and fair election for Greece through the use of some rather heavy-handed tactics. And I forgot to look at this. Go low, go high. And actually, these divisions that we have, not bad. These are actually 18 combat with, with engineers and artillery already. Not bad. And even these mountaineers are not bad themselves. They're basically the same with one minus one mountaineer. So that's not bad. Now we have no soldiers to use. And these guys are not bad, but... Venizelos passes away. Oh boy. Prime Minister Venizelos. Leader of the Venizelists. Venizelists? Whatever. And a revered titan of Greek politics has passed away peacefully in his home. Venizelos was a passionate contributor to the Greek multi-party system and a figure who was perhaps unrivaled in how much he influenced Greek national consciousness. How can words alone do justice to the man who gave so much of himself to his country and his countrymen? He is the architect of the nation, and we have the privilege of ser having been served today. And the enduring legacy he leaves behind will outlast all of us. The only black spot on Venezuela's immaculate record is a terrible loss our nation suffered after the devastating Greco-Turkish Greco War of 1919. It is a blemish on an otherwise perfect legacy that we fully intend to avenge upon ourselves. Eleftherios Venezuelos was a revolutionary, a statesman, a political pioneer. He was our ethnarch. And we shall remember him as the uncompromising lionheart that he was. Themistercolis, oh man, Sophulis has taken over as prime minister and the leader of the F group, and has declared a national day of mourning for the recently deceased father of modern Greece. Greece owes you a debt it will never be able to repay. We lose, we just lose stability, of course, good. And TS becomes leader for the Democratic Party, more political power and stability. Professional, professional crisis solver. Cool. I'm led by. Ganaos. Obviously, I'm not Greek at all. I don't speak Greek at all, so all this saying is a little difficult for me. But regardless, the, the Greek people fill the streets of Greece today, celebrating the choice of the army to ensure that the monarchists cannot interfere with election results. The Venizelists, Veniz Venizelists have been delivered a powerful mandate to govern. Returning from the exile abroad, but they face an uphill battle uniting a very divided country, and a country that has not forgotten the disastrous war that Venizelists... Oh my goodness, I apologize. Venizelists pull the whole country into 1919. There also remains a question of what the Venizelists will do with the captured Greek monarch regardless of what happens. Interesting times lay ahead for Greece. Cool. And the F party becomes ruler party for now. Hello, Mr. SF. No, SF. TS. TS. Hostile communists? Hostile republicans? We don't like hostile republicans or communists. Ease of conscription? I don't think so, man. I got 10 and able to speed up. And we've devalued the drachma? And which now we can bring home the exiled republicans. With our leader, uh, Mr. Venizelos, finally back in charge, we can invite our comrades back from the long exile that was forced under them by the monarchist regime. We will need every bit of help if we were to get our country back on track. We get political power, change of democracy and communism support, and some Venez Venezelist ministers and generals. My apologies. We can the Romania cancels their guarantee of independence with us, and everyone else around us that loses the Balkan pact. Oh, we also pay back our debts, too. Which we might want to do. Even though we can illegally cancel them later on. So, we'll think about that. Political instability, of course, which is not good. We also have a Garian society, not economy, but... Well, kind of have a Garian economy. We have the shock plan, which the Germans are trying to help us out. We have four monopolies, which is not good. A debt to the IFC. And then we have George II. Right now, we have 150 political power. Can I do anything here? No, we cannot. We need more war support. So... Once we can, we can pay off the debt now, or we can just say to hell with all these people and not pay it off. I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to piss off people yet. So I think it might be best if we look at here: social democrat, ooh, more democracy support, backroom backstabber. No. Well, since we're going communist, Marcos Bafiadis. Okay. We get Marxist priest. Marxist priest is. Hmm. I do want to get entrenchment expert, but. Obviously, the monarchists are friendly, loyal, not going to happen. We've got to get Grand Battle Plan to get more army XP gain, Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, which I'm not going to use. Probably, probably not going to use Grand Battle Plan. Maybe we will. But we'll see what happens. The Kush Turkish Straits remain demilitarized. At least war was averted. Oh, boy. Oh, poor Turkey. Can we actually raise this? No, we can. Oh, actually, we can only lower it. We can't go even lower here. Mm, you know what? It really depends. Since we've turned on a historical focuses, the Italians can't go commie. The Brits could go commie, but I really doubt it. Steady as she goes, so they're not going communist. France? 
Let's go ahead and just start paying back some of our debt to the Brits. It's only 25 political power, right? Crush a cop. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit much. Hmm. Electronic, mechanical engineering, mechanical computing is next. Great, 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 great. We're out of fuel. What else is new? You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to wait and get all the way up to here. Just save the political power for now. We have a little bit of debt, whatever. Just because it's 250. That's so much. But we're going to need that. Ooh, and there goes Ethiopia. Actually, when's the last time I chose... I actually chose Grand Battle Plan. We already have more entrenchment because of that. More planning, more defense and organization, breakthrough, soft attack, infiltration tactics, more leg infantry breakthrough. Uh, supply consumption goes down, more land night attack. Not bad. And you get more reconnaissance on your reconnaissance and recovery and reinforce rate, I mean, not recovery rate. Or assault. More breakthrough for the entire army, which I do like quite a bit. Reinforce rate two percent, reinforce rate two percent. More max planning. The entire army gets breakthrough, which I think is great. But, you get organization for the leg infantry as well. I love that last supply consumption. And, so that's a total of plus 10 more organization for infantry. You get 5 and 10. So, you, basically, you both get 10. Do you want more recon on your recon? Or, and less supply consumption. Or do you want the, everyone to get more breakthrough? Eh, that's kind of up in the air. Let's request communist support, though. George II is no Greek, and he has absolutely no right to interfere in the Greeks' affairs. Our country has bled too many times over his fabricated right to rule, and now we must finally bring this criminal to justice, but we cannot do it alone, and there's only one group that hates a king as much as we do. Oh, boy. The communists become friendly, the monarchists become hostile. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, man, I don't, I'm not really sure which one I want to do. I, I like the less supply consumption and more land out attack. More planning, max planning is not bad. I don't think we can really have a tank army, though. I mean, our industry is puny. You get a lot more max planning, though, on this side. Yeah, mechanized battalions, motorized battalions. I'm not so sure if we can actually use that stuff, so. Regardless, dispersed industry concentrated. Yeah, definitely go dispersed. It gives you more benefits. Even though you get slightly less output compared to the other stuff. Oh my goodness, look at all the political power we have. Holy cow. If that's a case... Hmm, ease of conscription. If not selected within 27 days, we lose stability. Change more popularity of communism. Honestly? Hmm. Do I change that now or not? Well, I want to get you, at least. Ease of conscription. If we don't choose this... Okay. We lose some stability, which I don't like, but we can usually get more stability, can't we? You know, let's pay off the payment to the... Ooh. Because even if we go communist, people can probably still invest in us. Let's just do the UK first, because we can. Conscription. I don't want to lose stability, even though we do want more... We want more communism, but let's be real here. We're going to get more communism this way. And we go with socialist economy, we get more daily communism effort or gain. And we get more f when we get to... Ooh, 30% more output. Wow. That's That would be good. Even more down here, and then you get some more, some right here as well. So, yeah, it's probably better just to ease it up now. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the stability. That's fine. Ease up conscription. That's fine. It's not like we have manpower, anyways. So, wow, befriend the monarchists? No, 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 no. no. Oh, look, recruitable population factor plus fifteen percent. They hurt our stability. Oh boy. And because we're communist friendly, we get more recruitable population factor. Nice, even though we're demobilizing. Let's, let's go to the socialist economy next to get some more communist support. So the Greek people have bled for too long under the autocratic rule of the false king and the warmongering Venezuelists. It is time for the people to finally prosper under a government that puts them first. Hey, we've got three factories now. The U.S. Brass's Neutrality Act, so they're not going to go with anyone else then. That's kind of sucks. I want to see America go with reestablish a gold standard. Come on, man. Oh, wait. They passed the Neutrality Act. Well... Hmm. We'll see what happens. But they already went with the WPA, so whatever. And yeah, we looked at our flag earlier. We actually got rid of the monarchist symbol in the middle, so that's kind of nice. Ah, uh, construction uno. We're definitely going to need you. Next up, how is this? Oh, we don't even have better... Oh, God, we don't even have these guns? Yeah, let's get those guns now. That'll be nice. Our ship's doing... Actually... Yeah, we have two... We don't have enough manpower. God dang it. And I don't care that we don't have enough fuel. It doesn't matter to me. This this group is 
I'm not going to be great. <laughs> That's okay. Because my plan in this campaign is basically Germany's going to attack everyone, hopefully. The Soviets, well, they can only be communists. So hopefully we can maybe join the Comintern eventually and fight the tyrannies of fascism and democracy, maybe? Of super de democratic people, eventually together. And we do actually have this idea, I believe, down here. Political actions. Well, we might get the idea later on to maybe form Greater Greece. I don't know. I don't, we'll see what happens. How much should we do? 0.88. That's so much. That's better. Oh, that's better. It used to be like 0.5 or something. Total debt paid, 80.4%. Next up, let's pay off the... Because if we look down here, we can do lignite liquefaction, extract more from our oil or soil, open up the country, bolster the shock plan, British docking rights, leadership bridges within them, cool, and renegotiate our debt with France. So basically, we can void all of our debt maintained by France eventually if we really wanted to. And we can get some docking rights from the UK, but I really hope that the French go communist in this campaign, but you never know. Attend talks with the Presidium, so we're not going to do the French one yet. We'll do the Italian one, we'll do the British one, but maybe not the other folk. And I do want to get down here quickly so we can get another research slot. Nationalized banks, so modify Greek socialism with plus 5% of our political power, and replace shock plan with command economy. We lose consumer goods factories, we lose resources to market, we lose construction speed bonus, but economy laws look better. Deutsche Bank and the Bank of England have so far, for far too long though, ex long exploited the people of Greece, misappropriating their already meager earnings and punishing them for the actions of a dictatorial government they did not elect. We say that the Greek people shall be exploited no longer and that their funds shall go to their government instead. Question monarchists, huh? French people, let's go to the Italians next. Cool. We clear one quarter of our current debt with Italy each time it is completed. What else are we going to do with political power? This stuff? Actually, we, who do we have now? We have the priest, which I will use eventually because we want to get as much division and defense on core territory as possible. That'll be very, very good. And guerrilla warfare actually gives us 0.2 recruitable population, which is almost nothing, of course. But we also get some less damage to garrisons and minus 25% re required garrisons, so that's not bad. Actually, eventually, we could grab 5% more stability f with this GP guy, because even though you get more daily democracy support, we're going to get enough communist support that it won't even matter. So, National Socialist Paramilitarist. Well, that's kind of cool. Who else do we have here? Mm, improved relations, maintain costs. That's not bad. Prince of Terror. Not bad. I like that guy, too. Devoted corporatists. Kind of interesting. Nationalized banks. And we're going to grab the Greek Industrial Revolution. Greece should have been industrialized a decade ago, but corrupt politicians and interceding foreign powers have left us with an economic system from a bygone age. We do not have the luxury of time to change our way of life over time. We must start now and work quickly. We get whole four factories in total. And another research slot. What's not to love about that? We could crush the monarchists. Actually, so when we do that, we lose stability, but after four months, we get more stability and war support. That actually might be worth saving up. Let's do that one. Let's save that. Save up our stuff for now. Political actions. We could improve worker conditions, but we... <laughs> Anti-communist raids. Yeah, I don't think so. We just want to get rid of a bunch of monarchists. And look at that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. What was our situation doing? We need way more guns. Oh my goodness. Guns, guns, guns galore. We actually have more resources than what Turkey starts with, which is kind of nice. Actually, who can we modify the government with? 120, oh, a, pe a piece of Germany with the UK. Motorized equipment with the United States. And we can't do that one. We need to appeal to the Soviet Union for that. And take designers? Kind of the same idea. A piece of German Reich and the UK. Well, we'll see what happens. Reinforce rate? Why not? Radios are nice, right? Uh, better rifles, dispersed industry. Motorized would probably be good to do. We already have some artillery. Land doctrine. Let's go and start doing some more. We'll get some max planning with grand battle plan. It's going to take a while to get through, but that's okay. Artillery, tanks. We're not even going to focus on tanks right now. Planes would be good, but we can't really... We don't have the output to do that. Excavation 1. We could use more fuel. We already have these guys. Let's, get, let's grab some motorized, just because eventually we will need them, even though we can't really use them that well right now. Going to do this just to start getting that done. The Polish Romanian Alliance, let's hope it pays off. Eh, not bad. Not bad. We currently get 48 a day. Do we have any fuel here? The Royal Wedding in Brazil. Oh, an interesting development, I would say. That's nice. As long as we don't lose Athens and this place over here. We might lose Thrace eventually, which is fine, whatever. As well as these Aegean Islands. Even Crete to a degree. Oh, there goes Spain. Ooh, if oh, oh man, if we could swap to communism fast enough, we could be able to send could be able to send. We could send some divisions, maybe. Wait, who did I want to get? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, I remember. We want to crush the monarchists. We paid 16% of our total debt back. Nice. 
So in the end, we end up getting one more political, one more political power, one more stability. Ooh, that looks like a bigger than normal Spain, but I could be wrong. They crush this group down here. That'd be good for them. They're gonna lose. Actually, they have ports over here too, so that's not bad. Oh, why can't I send volunteers? Because we're not allowed to. Why? Why? Actually, since this is on a historical focuses, we might see this Spain win. That'd be kind of interesting. Ah, the Greek Industrial Revolution. Good. Now we're going to ignore this stuff for now. And we're going to make our way back over here. Because since we want to go communists, utilizing our strengths, because we're a nation of farmers and luxury goods, that'd be kind of cool to do this. But it sounds a little bit more communistic, or at least Stalinistic, or Stalin-like. If we force the farmers into factories, we need more labor. We can lose some stability, so be it. The general population seems to be stuck in this fairy tale that they can keep farming for the rest of their lives and come out of the end of the brewing conflict just fine. They are, of course, wrong. They have, we have no choice but to start seizing farms and then forcibly moving the farmers into urban centers so that they can start some work that is more immediately beneficial to the state. If that doesn't sound like good old communism to me, then, at least some form of communism, then w why not? Just why not? Also, we, I think we wanted to go with subs, right? Because we don't have an industry for this stuff. We might eventually someday, but for now, no, no, we do not. And this is for not subs. The subs already come with them, if you see this. They, they, it already comes with them. Raider would not be bad, but we don't really have the industry for that. So, let's get some better planes. We don't even have planes, enough planes for an Air Force, but we are hopefully going to try to make some. So, we'll see what happens. Of course, then again, you can't deploy planes if you have no manpower, but whatever. So crush the communists, I mean, J JK, just crush the monarchists. Let's pay back it to the British first. And maybe we'll do work, improve worker conditions, because, you know, we're for the workers here, right? You know what's really weird? Ever since the update to Kali 1, you know, what was it, patch 1.10 for Hearts of Iron, they always say 5.0%. It looks so weird, I'm just used to 5%. Why do you get the .0 in there, man? Is it like supposed to be like hidden or something, but... It seems just, it seems odd seeing exactly 5.0. I'm like, okay, I think we understand if you want 5.3%. Just leave it at 5. Don't give us that extra information. What? No. Extra information? No, 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 no. We don't need that. Yeah, we're going to need more artillery because I'm going to make these guys 7-2. As much as I love infantry battalions, it saves just a tiny bit of manpower if you swap, swap these out with artillery. That being said, it does lower their stats a little bit, especially organization and HP, I believe, but... We want to do some serious damage when we are entrenched as well. Actually, do we have a field marshal? Oh, look at all these guys. A Marxist acolyte. That's exactly who we wanted. Oh, we have a Napoleon. Zerdavas. He has got a... He's got some beard. So does this guy. The commies and the fascists both have beards. And you have Theodore's Pangalos. Nicolas Plasteras. And he is a loyalist, eh? Ooh, Marcos. Yes, Marcos, Marcos. Dimitrios. And he's a loyalist. Well, oh, he's level six. Oh, he's a, he has the most attack. Holy crap! Look, oh, I guess he's just recently promoted, but it's supposed to be level six attack. God dang, son! Force the farmers into factories. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. We could keep going down this way, and we should get more stability, more recruitable population factor, political power gain minus twenty five percent. Ooh, Agar agriculture communes. Well, we already forced the farmers into factories, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I want to save that one for last. Because all you get down here is building slots. And if we can wait longer when we have more factories to use this, it'd be more beneficial. Soviet subsidized railways. Host Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic. Not a bad idea. Red militias is not bad. You actually get more political power as well. This takes 140 days. And then we could force our way back here. Large debt repayment to the British. Well, let's do that first. So Soviet subsidized railways. Greece has been abused at every turn by Europe's major powers. It is time to look across the Black Sea if we want to ever have a chance of modernizing Greece's economy. Let's go ahead and pay it back to the Italians as well. And soon enough we'll have more stability. Hopefully, Papa Stalin likes us a lot. And I, I want to hope they're investing in Syria, but that the French go down inviting the communist ministers. Force the issue. That'd be cool. 18 factories, not bad. Oh, we only have one. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. The small debt payments. Oh, that, that's, that's kind of why. Consumer goods factories, 5%. Resources to market. What else do we have here now? 
industrializing society, so more output, but less recruitable population factor. We have a command economy, of course, which is, you know, good and bad. It's 1937, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some more dispersed industry dose. 50%, 100%, 75%, not bad. And please get us that stability and war support. Ah, oh, I love it. Beautiful. Hostile monarchists are gone. We don't we do not believe in a monarchy here. Nope. Goodbye. Beautiful. 0.86 every day, and we got a little bit more stability. <laughs> That's not a lot more, but hey, that war support's looking a little better. We're gonna have to max out our war support so when we get attacked, probably from the Germans, because I have a good feeling that no matter what they do, they're probably gonna attack us. Now they do have a chance of going down opposing Hitler, but I think they already remilitarized the Rhineland, so. I don't think they can really do that much. Let's grab some more construction speed. Because 10%. Even though it's not going to do very much, and this completes in about 14 months. Hopefully it'll help out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, just oh my goodness. Professional crisis solver. Not a casual crisis solver, but a professional one, huh? And let's see. Communism support going up by 8.02 every month. Oh, why does this hurt so badly? Foreign monopolies. I hate foreign monopolies. Got about a week left. Great. After that, let's go ahead and do... Red militias. There are many who would seek to thwart our efforts in modernizing Greek society. But with the organization of militias dedicated to preserving the revolution, they will find it all the more worthwhile or difficult to stop us. And they won't be able to. We get more population too. 2%. Nice. Like milk. Pop political power gain, as well as daily communism support. Don't mind if we do. Brits. Cool. We've paid off a third of our debts and host Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic. Ooh. Relying too heavily on the Soviets could place our sovereignty in peril. Decades of economic mismanagement by the past administrations and rampant abuses by foreign powers have left our country destitute of a strong industrial foundation. The sad reality of the situation is that in order to achieve our highest potential, we have to ask for the assistance of some of the very same countries that have left us in a position in the first place. Fighter 1 is great. More cap. Don't mind us. Better fighters, you might as well do that now before we start really making some. 3 out of 5, not bad. Motorized will come after we get the fighters. And I want to host them next. I think that'd be cool. Before January 1st, 1943. Has not completed the focus. Claim the straits. Which... Okay, so we won't get down here. I really don't know whether we should go toe the Stalinist line. Or prepare for the great anti-fascist war. I want to say I want to go down with the great anti-fascist war. But let me know in the comments below. Because if we go down this path. We can ally Tito. Or Tito. 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 And secure the Aegean. Which sounds cool. Or, but if we go with Mr. Stalin... We get staged an incident in the Bosporus and revolutionaries of the south, which looks okay. This has more options for us, obviously, but I'll, I want to know your opinion. Should we toe the line or prepare for the great anti-fascist war? Let me know in the comments, please, below. And let's host the bureaucrats. And in about a month, we'll have that, which will be awesome. 50%, 50%. Sorry, France, you're not getting any money yet. Ooh, we actually have some fuel. Oh, yeah, we're in civilian economy, which is not nice. Hey, almost one a day. Not bad. 42% stability. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I don't think we have any occupied territories, do we? No, we do not. And we are still democratic. Oh, look at that. Debt? Why is that still so high when we've already paid off almost half of our debt already? So, I'm not... Because we're almost getting to half, so why do the conditions... They don't lessen over time as you do more of that. Okay, whatever. Now we're going to be over 1%. And let's come back over here and paying back our debts in bulk to get a little bit more stability. Ooh, synthetic refinery would be so nice, though. And I'll get some resources later. And then we gotta do think about the Hellenic armed forces as well. But paying back our debts in bulk. The sooner we are free of our debts, the sooner we can begin truly transforming this country. We shall set aside more of the country's capital to paying our debts so that we may be free of our foreign fiscal overlords sooner. And stability is always nice. I think after this we want to improve worker conditions. I wonder what we get from this. I really don't know. But I would like to know. And we get an event. We can host them again. They survey us? They What? They don't... Oh, we wasted 100 political power for that? At last, we received word that the Soviet shall not be investing into our economy at this time. It is a disappointing turn of events, though the Soviet delegate has not ruled out future investments, which bodes well for us. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. At least, so basically, we spent 100 political power for 5% stability. Oh, Spain declared war on the... Oh, boy, that's not good. And we have some manpower, because we're mobilizing. Wow, this feels great. Now, I don't like that. I think the next time we get 100 political power, let's just improve worker conditions so that's the way we, at least we get some more factory output. You know, or I guess we lower our factory output, we get more weekly stability for 180 days. So, 180 days is roughly 25 weeks. 
So 25 times 0 0.5 is about two and a half, 12 and a half, I mean. So you get about 12 and a half percent more stability by doing this. It's more worth doing this one in the long run than uh, failing this one repeatedly, I guess. Japan declared one China immediate, or ch immediately. Uh, let's see, the Dominion Canada seeks immediate patri patriation. Oh boy, an empire coming apart. Well, good luck, guys. Let's see. We got that. We are using tack bombers. We're not making any yet. We're doing a land auction. Let's grab some more into war artillery. Just because I think that would be good. So, next up, improve working conditions and paying off debt. And there goes Japan. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yeah, I definitely want to improve worker conditions because 47% not good enough. Actually, it wins the next day. Ooh. In a little more than a week, which is fine. So, after this one and this one, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay for now. For now, of course. If we need to, go ahead and train. Training is good. Fascist train today. Have you? Improve machine tools. Grand battle plan. Ooh. Radar could be very beneficial, especially if we're on defense. I'm going to grab some field hospitals as well, because I think we're probably going to need them. And I want to get some anti-air. Don't forget that. I did say I want to get some anti-air. But before we do that, let's keep going down our land doctrine. Because defense and organization, that's exactly what we need. So that's done. So let's grab some anti-air. Because I do want to get some anti-air on it, guys. Because whoever we're facing, they're going to have some close air support or something like that. So we got to be ready for the inevitable. Paying back our debts in bulk. And we shall finish this episode with what? Dispose reactionaries? Mm, we could. Become communists immediately. Building slots, that's just not worth it, man. Fiscal responsibility. We get political power, I like that. Greek autarky. We go to limited exports and get even more stability. Not bad, that one, or we get more fuel. We do get a synthetic refinery from that, which is really nice. And gains public petrol corporation. So... Let's go with Greek autarky. I like the stability. And we get more consumer goods factories. Our long-held dependence on the capital of, of countries richer than us is humiliating. These countries patronize us and bully us and keep us poor so they can keep their own pockets lined with wealth. The Germans, Italians, and Soviets have shown this. There, there is another way, a path to self-sufficiency and complete independence, of course. It may take some time for us to reach that state. We are no Germany, after all. But regardless, it's only 35 days, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did... Consider leaving a like, you know, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we shall watch Spain go kaboom and figure out where all the other countries' destinies may lie. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.